What is up guys, Alex here and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a what's in my tech bag for mid 2017. Excited to share with you guys some of the new things I'm packing around this time of the year. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Welcome back guys, so kicking things off, I have owned this brand, it's called Tiger New Backpacks before, this is in fact the same brand of a backpack I used in my last What's In My Tech Bag video. Uh, they saw that, sent me out this guy to review and look at, so I am not being paid to do this, they just sent the product out for my honest opinions, uh, but wanted to go ahead and share some of this. So first things first, you'll notice it's quite a bit thicker uh, than my other one, it has a ton more pockets, and it's kind of more for those who are trying to take a lot lot more stuff on the go. This would be great for any of you students out there who have more bags and books and all that great stuff. You want to have more storage, more pockets, and more options. So this has kind of a reflective look to the material as you can probably tell. I kind of like that. There are other colors available, but it has some really cool features. The first of which is that this is a very secure backpack. So I got this wrong in the last video, but this right here is the laptop sleeve and it's located behind these back shoulder straps. And that's so that while you're carrying it, nobody can get into this without you noticing it even if you're in a super crowded and busy place so that's a super cool feature the second thing actually has to do with this it comes with a small lock and no this is not going to be the end all be all to stop criminals who are going to try to get into your backpack but it just clips right on to your zippers helps keep your stuff secure and it's one more thing that someone who's potentially gonna steal your stuff might give up and try a different backpack when they see something like this. Now some other cool features about this bag. I've been using it for a couple of weeks, taking it on some big trips. So you might see that some small scuff marks here and there, but the material has held up great. Uh, it has, like I said, that really cool reflective look on this model. But what's nice about this material is not only does it feel nice and premium, but it's also water resistant. And if you're like me, you carry a lot of valuables in your backpack and you don't want to get any of that wet. So this guy has some really cool, like I said, features to keep your stuff safe, secure, and dry. Uh, and I've loved using it so far. But without any further ado, let's check out what I'm carrying with me. So starting things off, on the inside of this front zipper, we have my newest portable choice the Nintendo Switch. If you haven't seen my video on this guy, go ahead and check it out. Link will be in the description below. But I've got this sweet case for it. Uh, this is going to be a part of my Switch accessory guide, so be on the lookout for that. But it's water resistant as well. Has lots of pockets in here. The uh, front here folds down, has some space for your cartridges. I have Mario Kart 8 in the Switch, and the only other physical game I have is Zelda Breath of the Wild. But it's got this sweet little area up top where I keep my USB-C cable from Anchor and a couple of Joy-Con grips up here so that I have those with me if I want to take them off. And uh, the Joy-Cons are pretty small, so that helps add a little bulk when I'm playing with some friends. So love this guy. The Switch has been crazy awesome. Love having that so far. So that's this top, this bottom pocket. And then up top here, we have just my cable for my MacBook Pro. You can put a ton of stuff up there. It's actually a pretty big pocket, but that's kind of what I put there because it's what works most for me. All right, now getting into the second main pocket right here, we have one of my favorite pockets, and this is where I keep all of my Moleskine notebook. You guys know I love my Moleskine notebook. Keep that for all my notes, jot down ideas, all sorts of good stuff goes in there. I have my highlighter, my G2 pen, because that's the best pen there is, and my two terabytes Seagate hard drive. Still using mechanical drives, a lot cheaper, and still able to edit 4K video off of them, so no reason to up grade for me personally to a solid state drive. But another cool thing is that it has this mesh like throw all pocket in here. I have a microfiber cloth, an extra pair of skull candies, and a lightning port to SD card slot in there along with an extra couple of charging bricks. So this is a great little storage space for your all in all kind of just great gear toss spell. All right, now moving from that front zipper to the main compartment here, we have the first thing is my photo Bluetooth headphones. If you guys didn't see the video of these, uh, they're my favorite pair of Bluetooth headphones out there still. Uh, I did a pair that were like in ears and I still like those quite a bit, but these guys are just clutch honestly and they're great for traveling uh, because they fold up and so easy to pack away. And it comes with a nice little case as you can see, so I love that. Uh, the next thing we have in the main compartment here 
is my tech essentials kit. If you didn't see the video on this, this is from a company called BUBM. I have just a ton of gear in here. It's so nice. They have these little dividers allow you to kind of shape what you want to keep separated. I have a bunch of cables up top and in the main compartment I have my other hard drives in this little in a tech sleeve here. I have a Leatherman, an eighth inch to quarter inch converter, a power brick, and a couple of cables for my lightning and micro USB cables. And as well, I have my cables that I use to power up all of my external hard drives. So love this guy. Go ahead and check out the video down below. I'll leave for the review I done these guys because this has been an incredible space saver and organizer for any bag I take anywhere. And that essential kit is just great because I can pop it out put it in a different bag if I'm using anything else. Now another one of my favorite features on this guy is the fact that it has tons of pockets. It's also one of the things I do not like about this thing. So while I love the fact that there's pockets everywhere, and I know that sounds kind of confusing, I do not like how tight some of them are. So what I have here is you have like a spot for maybe a portable battery charger, a phone slot, and uh, I like that they've got little labels for them all too. It also has like a little label up here with a zipper so you can put something in there. It shows a book. But I put my 10,000 milliamp ohm maker battery in here. Uh, it's still working great, love using that, and it actually keeps my switch charged up pretty good if I'm ever doing some long-term gaming on the go. Uh, it's an older model, but it still works great and powers it up, and it's holding its charge pretty good so far. And then it has a iPad sleeve here, and I do take my iPad and that, still rocking the iPad Air, still make my thumbnails on this, use it to put all of my songs and sheet music and everything else that I need to do, any kind of real media work, and it's an honest to goodness Netflix king, so love that. And then in these little tight pockets here, which I said kind of not a lot of space, but you can store what it shows in there, just really tight, uh, but I have my pair of Shure SE215s and a pair of Apple EarPods, just to make sure that you have both covered if you need kind of a run and gun or when I'm doing my music or need something a lot nicer for like my in-ear monitor stuff. So I have both of those in there. Now before we get to the back of it, I want to quickly note that if you are someone who likes to rock headphones in your backpack, throw your media in here, maybe it's your iPad or some kind of portable media or your phone, they do have a headphone jack here on the side or a little slot here I should say, not a jack. A slot so you can run your headphone cables through there if you're still rocking those wired headphones as I am obviously. Uh, and then on the side here it each has two pockets. I like to throw uh, my mouse and my mouse of choice as you guys probably know is of course the MX Master. This guy is incredible. Best feel and fit to the hand. Pretty expensive but if you're a content creator it's definitely worth it with that sideways scrolling wheel and mappable buttons. And then, before we get to the laptop in the back, one of the other cool things is it has this great padding, so when I've taken it, and it's a pretty heavy backpack when I fill it up, uh, it keeps it nice and comfy to carry, but it also has this sweet little hidden secret backpack, uh, little pocket here in the back, and that's where I actually am putting my little stand for my Nintendo Switch. This guy's sweet because it folds up, it'll be a part of that Switch, switch accessory guide video, uh, but it's sweet because it folds up, and I can uh, put it at different angles to adjust it, and it also has a little cutout so that when I set it out, I can also charge it here at the bottom. So that's a really cool thing to have in a switch stand. Packs up nice and neat. And then the very last thing behind these shoulder straps, which like I said earlier, is great for keeping your gear nice and safe. No one's gonna try to swipe your bag. Is my laptop of choice, the 2015 MacBook Pro with Retina display. I still use this guy, love the fact that it has the micro HD card slot, not a huge fan of the fact that Apple took that away, still a big content creator, and this guy has been busting all of my great content, whether it's photography or video work or anything I need to do, this guy's been able to handle it and the battery life's great on it. And the nice thing is that this fits with the sleeve in this backpack. All right guys, with that being said, that just about wraps up this video. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, feel free to like it. If you loved it, feel free to share it with your friends. Make sure that you hit that bell so you can stay notified on all the videos coming up. Like I said in this video, I'm gonna have a switch accessory guide video coming very soon, so make sure you're tuned in for that. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace!